Hi everyone, welcome back to Tafai Designs. I was trying to find a practical and more simple way to store my stencils and uh, I came up with this kind of pocket book. Pocket book. <laughs> a book with pockets, I guess. <laughs> and I used some of the discs from the Happy Planner to complete the book. And I hope you guys like. Um, it's a Pretty much a simple way you can see your patterns and everything before you choose your um your stencil. So I hope you guys like. I started by trying to figure out um, the measurements for my pockets, and I'm trying to use one of the stencil sets from Honeybee Stamps, and I'm using the cheapest paper possible. I have some cheap copy paper which is very thin and won't add too much bulk to um, the laminating pockets. So I'm figuring out how tall I want it, how wide I want it. And at the end I ended up doing an 8 by 7 and a quarter pocket because I want the, the stencil and the card from each company to be in the pocket. So I decided at the front of each pocket I want to have a, a copy of the stencil, the pattern of the stencil. So I decided to color each stencil at the front of each pocket that they are in. So I'm just going to use some Distress Ink and a blending tool and color the stencil and I didn't even do it neatly because I just want to know what pattern is in the pocket so I know what's in that pocket. So I color my stencil. So this first one, you can see it's stencil with hearts. And since this is two honeybee stencils, I decided to put one in the front of the pocket, one in the back of the pocket. So here goes a smaller one. For the Honey Bee stencils, they come with the, the name of the stencil and a little piece of sticky sticker in the front. So I took that off and I added it to the front of the stencil. So now we have the name of the stencil and the company. And I'm going to run it to the laminating, my laminated machine inside of a laminated pouch. And you can use any kind of cheap pouch. I've seen some on Amazon um, for the three mils, like $10 for a hundred of them. So you don't need heavy pockets. So I just run into my laminator and then we're going to cut around and actually cut the top where we want the pocket to be.
Once I'm done with my laminating and cutting, I'm going to add the holes at the side. I'm using that punch from the Happy Planner. And I started off with this smaller one, but then it was very hard to punch, so I brought out the big Mama Jama to finish it off. Once you create your holes, your disc will attach very easily. And as you can see, the opening is at the top. You could have done the opening at the sides, but I actually liked the top opening. Now I'm going to do another set of stencils, so you can see one more time. So I take both stencils. I decided to create my pockets where I have two sets of stencils in one pocket. So we have a stencil, the cardstock from the um, packaging, and then another stencil on the back. The back. So I have an image on the front of the the first paper. And we have to have two pieces so we can create a pocket with the laminating pouch. And then on the back, we have another image of another stencil. And I tried to do a different color for each, each company. I tried. Once we've... Once we've finished both patterns and both pieces of paper, we're going to add it to another pouch and run it to my laminating machine again. And punch my holes and that's it. And that pretty a uh, piece of purple paper, panel paper. I actually have another project that's going. I'm going to be doing. And I didn't want to waste that little space at the bottom of the of the laminating pouch, so I just added that um, piece of paper for my next project, so I don't waste anything. And I did that for each of the next laminating pouches that I created. Then I wanted to create a cover for my book, and I chose these two pretty pattern papers. I have a, um, a paper pad from years ago, and these two pretty papers came from that. And I'm going to add each piece to a um, laminating pouch and run it to the laminator. I just made the the cover a quarter of an inch bigger on each side bigger than the paper that made the pouches made the pocket or you can make the cover as big as you like
I decided to add the word stencils and I tried to find some stickers in my stash and I only had these little baby ones but it just still popped because it's a different color altogether so it just says stencils and then I add a couple more decorations and then I'll run this is actually the front of the the the, the front cover and then I'll run into the laminated machine So this is what the pockets look like. One image in the front, one image in the back, and house, and it houses two stencils. I love this one from Altenew. I'm going to try and use it on a card soon. You can see I just used the card stock that came in the package. And that goes in the front and then the other stencil goes in the back and I like that Altenew put the names of the stencils right in the front but I still wrote it on the front also because I don't want to have to keep taking the card stuck out I just want to slide the stencils out Use them and just slide it back in.
it's also very easy to remove the pockets if you'd like or you can just slide the stencils out at the top but if you don't want to have all that stuff in your work area you can just take the pocket out of the book and use it and then just put it back in very easy that's why I love the discs system So as I flip through the pages, you can see each, each pocket has whatever stencil is in it. So I have Simon Says Stamp, MFT, Honey Bee. I have some Heidi Swap. And the pages move very easily and this stencil actually has a pattern that works together so I just colored a little of it so you can see them work together mm -hmm. and these are all my stencils and that's it for the video today I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.